They were iconic. William Perry on a one-yard touchdown run. They were legendary. Mike Singletary, he read it beautifully. They were just a ferocious unit. We're going to work. We're going to run. To the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. Touchdown! We're going to fight. Well, you're another quarterback tonight. Who's coming? And when it's all said and done, we'll go to the dance. First down, Tampa Bay at their 39-yard line. Play action again. DeBerg under pressure, gets away, and then it's dropped. First down, nine to go, and it's intercepted by Gary Fensick. Fensick to the Buccaneer 20-yard line. Short drop, the ball is tipped, intercepted. Leslie Frazier, 21. Richard Dent got a hand on the ball, and Leslie Frazier alertly picked it off and took it into the end zone. A 29-yard touchdown. Moorhead starts in motion, reverses himself, rolling out as McMahon. He will walk in. Second and nine now for New England. Eason gets time. He's oh. intercepted. Fenson with his 32nd career interception. Now the Patriots looking to move the ball. They've been across midfield once in the game, and that was for a moment. Intercepted. Singletary. And Singletary takes it down to the 16-yard line. Went to a draw. Got yardage. Do it again. And Singletary continues to be a force for the Bears. Blitz it is. Sacked for a fifth time. Here's Eason from the shotgun on first down. Blitz. Marshall untouched. And Jim McMahon is on, the quarterback for Chicago Bears. Spent two nights in Lake Forest Hospital for back spasms up near his neck. And he's on to try to revive the Bears offense. Had a few painkillers in me, and I was a little, a little wobbly. I almost fell right on my face as I got the snap. Vikings coming on a blitz. McMahon back to throw. Hurls it deep down the middle. Willie Gold is out there. Makes the over the shoulder. Catch to the 30. And five. Touchdown. From there, magic happened. He's that ace that you have. You don't know what it's going to be, that wild card that you have. That, that's what he is, because you know it's going to be good. You just don't know what it's going to be. Second touchdown of the day for Dennis McKinnon. Third down and 10. The ball is loose, and the Bears get it. Getting a bit of a breather here. Second and long. McMahon back the other way. Peyton wide open. Touchdown. Cherry and Wilburn are in defensively. They give to Peyton. Peyton wants to throw it again. Nobody open. Now Peyton back to McMahon. Touchdown! Riggins with Wansley. And it's Riggins. Riggins off the left side. Is hit at the line of scrimmage. It'll be close. First down, Redskins. Rodgers hit and dropped for a loss. And it is Willie Galt taking Jeff Hayes kickoff. Galt in full flight. Twice before, the Bears have stopped him on fourth and short. Wansley is stacked up. A 6.28 to play in the fourth quarter. Theismann for the tight end. Did he intercepted by Richardson? Theismann, the only man that can get him. Theismann got a piece of him, and he stopped at the one-yard line. Third down. McMahon has time, and it is complete. Touchdown, Dennis McKinnon. They're at the four-yard line. Pitch out Peyton. Peyton gets down close to the goal line. Touchdown. And depending on what happens in the final 56, Peyton starts inside, goes outside, and he will score. What a run by Walter Peyton. Did he fake Hugh Green 53 out? He still has it. And that pass is intercepted by Leslie Frazier. He lateraled it to Fensick. And Fensick looking to lateral it. He thinks this is the Stanford band play here. There it goes, too. Dewerson got to the 34-yard line. First and 10 at the 18 for Joe Montana and the 49ers. Montana finding Russ Branson. And the Niners tight end fumble. It was Dan Hampton who recovered the fumble by Russ Francis, and the Bears get another big break. Showing the blitz for the Bears, and they give it off to Wendell Tyler, who fumbled. And let's see, the Bears may have recovered 
and they do. Second down and 15, back to the 41-yard line in Chicago territory, and Montana goes down at midfield, and it was Mike McMichael again. Ball back at the 22-yard line. Montana steps up, down he goes. Wilbur Marshall and Otis Wilson, the two outside linebackers, come in and sack Joe Montana for the third time in the game. Second and one at the 31 of Chicago. Montana has some time, and down he goes. And it's Waller Payton gets a hole, and Payton may go all the way. Touchdown, and the Chicago Bears, who were beaten 23 to nothing in the championship game last year here at Candlestick Park, have broken this game open. William Perry of 315 pounds lining up in the uh, fullback formation. Seeing Fridge in the backfield, that, that was incredible. It was just incredible to see a guy that big moving with a football. I said, there's no way if I put him in front of Walter that anybody can get, you know, he's going to knock him right out of the way. Hey, oh my. Oh. Hangs in behind the refrigerator. He looks like a Mack truck. <laughs> just bowling over number 52. The sounds that it made when he hit guys was just, you just hear it, you know, the boom, and then they hear you go, oh. Peyton, oh, Halloween Perry. He cleaned out everything. Offensive backfield for the Bears. You'll be the lead blocker. They're getting the football to Perry. <laughs> Touchdown. Uh, William Perry spikes the football. <laughs> and this crowd loves it. Right under pressure, tries to get it deep in the end zone, doesn't do so, and it's picked off. Dick throws another interception. He was under pressure. And Dickey back at quarterback. Dickey fires an interception taken there by Marshall. Well, seven turnovers in, uh, what, 19 minutes? I haven't seen that before uh, ever in a football game. They have been in trouble all night. Good. This will be a safety. The rush is on, and Perry has Kramer. He's playing on defense now. He just busts himself through and goes. Second and five. Straight drop by Kramer. Sideliner is picked up by Dave Dewerson. Shotgun formation for Kramer. Kramer, and he was hit by Dent, and the pass picked off by Otis Wilson. Touchdown. Green to Peyton, one-hand catch, gets a block, and Peyton, touchdown. Two tight ends in for the Packers. The rush is on from Hampton. He gets it off, and it's going to be picked off by Gary Fensick. Three wide receivers for the Packers. Pressure, Hampton has Zorn. Zorn starts to roll, and he is sacked. And his third down into the end zone goes Zorn, and he is dropped by McMichael. Perry in motion. The pass to Perry. Touchdown. Unbelievable. He goes in motion. They figured he's going to turn up for a block. He just takes off. They completely fool the Green Bay Packers. A trailing still here by a point. Eight bounces off Packers. Touchdown. Hipple already sore from being knocked out of the game last week against Minnesota with a couple oh, of blitz. injuries. And he is hit again, and William Perry, 308 pounds, lands on top of Eric Hipple. Peyton with a big hole. He breaks loose. Hipple play action. Perry in pursuit. Intercepted by Dewerson. Three wide receivers with Lewis, and a busted play and a sack. Jones alone set back. Blitz. The ball comes loose. Recovered by Jones. Loose again. Picked up by the Bears. Single Terry. Telecast of the Bears and Lions and then into the evening of entertainment. And that pass is intercepted by Wilson. The Bears get the ball right back. The fourth turnover of the day. You know, there's some guys on the Bears like Walter Payton, Gary Fensick. These guys have never beaten the Cowboys. And that's a pretty big motivator. I mean, they were America's team. They could change in a big way that day. White back pedals underneath his crossbar. Fires the right side of the ball. Tipped in the air by Hampton. Picked up by Dent. Spins to the end zone. Touchdown! Dent had a slight concussion. Here is Otis Wilson all over him. And there's the interception. Mike Richardson. Touchdown, Bear. Here they are after White again. And in the grass. 
by Dave Durison. Peyton again hits him to reverse. Peyton takes it, gets it, throws it. Reitman has the first down inside the Dallas 10. Little fake here. He puts the ball out and then he brings it back, puts it on his hip, starts to run. Got a guy hanging on him, Lockhart hanging on him, and still gets the ball downfield to Tim Reitman. Peyton breaks another tackle. They give to Peyton. They give to a little bit. Peyton has plenty of room. Peyton hammering down the sideline. Peyton to the 20, inside the 20. Once you put wisdom with will on top of talent, you get what you call sweetness. Walter Peyton was a true warrior. Give me the heart of Walter Peyton. There's never been a greater heart. His quest to win a world championship kept the whole thing together. First and 10, and Peyton swings wide to the right. That's the one room. Dancing down the sideline. Peyton, touchdown. Archer outside the ring. Chased by William Perry. Watch him sprint here. He sees Ricks, he gets out there. Now that is a heck of a play. Holly is hit in the end zone. If they want that defensive touchdown, it's going to be close. Dent came from that side like he was shot out of a cannon. Oh, did he pump, pump from that back side? We are live from the Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida. The undefeated Chicago Bears are in town to meet the Miami Dolphins. Fuller is back. Galt is right over. Galt had to come back for that pass by Fuller. We talked about his speed. Here they come. And down goes Marino. They have had great field position on their drives all night. Marino, picked off, Justin Frazier, low snap, Marino pulls it up, he fires a strike to Clayton, he drops the football, Richard Dent has it, and Dent back to the 15-yard line, Marino goes down, the ball is loose, Marino is really smacked, he's coming right around the horn is Dent. Well, needless to say, there was something different about that game. And there were some things happened that night that were really strange. Out of the way. Into the arms of Clayton. Oh, and are things going right for the Dolphins tonight? When that game was over, we knew that, wow, what a wake-up call that was. We came back together with a renewed focus, and we kept that focus all the way to the Super Bowl. Hands it off to Peyton. Big hole up the middle. To the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. Touchdown! Here's Otis Wilson, who just loves to blitz. He comes from one side. Richard Dent comes from the other side. There you see the monsters of the midway and what that term means. They had this dominance on defense. Blitz all out. They got him. The Bears defense scared the bejesus out of quarterbacks. As that season went on, it became relentless. We're not ducking and dodging. We're going to have fun because the 46 defense was as physical and as nasty as you want to get. Hipple had his knee re-injured last week against Green Bay. Doctors advised against him going today. Play action on first down. Pressure from Perry. See Wilbur Marshall come here and really flatten him. Oh, boy, did he really hit him. Play action. And he is set. Number 58, Wilbur Marshall. 5'11", 182 pounder. Play action. Dennis Gentry. Touchdown and no flags. Peyton with blockers. The throw. Will he go? Complete. Second and 17. Hipple and company. The refrigerator squashing Hipple. His helmet came off. Get their last shot here. It's a point. Oh, what a hit. Hipple and the ball picked up by the refrigerator. So the fridge, with a sense of the dramatic in the final regular season game, says it's fridge time.
That city is amazing when you're winning. A citywide epidemic, from nursing home cheerleaders to church services to the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. People were, hey man, you guys keep it up. This is great. You guys are going all the way. And Landetta stands back in his end zone. Already go. The kick is blocked. Sean Gale, number 23, scored the touchdown. Starts here, look, it's already, it's almost to the ground. He just dropped that ball and missed it. Here comes the blitz again, that's Richard Dent, though. He and Phil Simms had something going on. And uh, the rest of the game, Richard went after him with a passion. And down goes Simms again. Richard Dent, Simms with the wind at his back. And pressure, ball is on the ground. Blitz again. And they're all over. Phil Simms, under motion. Flag is down. In the end zone, touchdown. Fensick jumped up the middle and got to Sims. McKinnon, touchdown. There's work to be done. There's miles to go. That's the way the poem goes. We've got a little way to go yet. I told the team, I said, they're the Smiths. They live out there in California. They're the rich people. They have all this Hollywood stuff. I said, we're the, we're the Kabowskis. We're the working class. It's going to be them against us in that manner. Dickerson, the tail, backhand off. Dickerson, oh. hit by Singletary. Stacked up Fairmont. At the line of scrimmage. Mike Singletary, he read it beautifully. And hey, Dickerson, this is Eric Dickerson. He breaks one or two coming. Ball's on the ground. Watch 55 here. Takes on the guard, Ken Hill. Then he works back. Now watch him come back. And watch that right hand go in and knock that ball out. But he stays in the block. McNeil will take it. He takes it in. Touchdown. McMahon again sprints out. Goes for golf. Touchdown. Brock retreats. And Wilbur Marshall put a hat on him. Brock under pressure. Gets away from a couple, but not all. Here's Brock on third down. Chased by Denton down. And the ball is loose, and the Bears have it. This is Wilbur Marshall with the ball. Marshall. If it's still alive, he's in the end zone. I can still see it in slow motion. Wilbur Marshall picks up the ball, and we all are just running with him. And the snow starts coming down, and the fans went absolutely crazy. It's been a long wait for these Bear fans. Whoever they play is going to have their hands full. All I could think about was three years ago, this man walked in the room and said, if you just stand with me, if you just believe in me, we'll be at the dance in three years. There was never a doubt in my mind that we we're going to win that game. It was just a matter of how many points. What a hitter he is. Second down and 10. Eason dragged down by Steve McMichael. Fumbles. The Bears have it. On the ground to Craig James. Caught in the backfield. And a fumble, and the Bears have it again. 95 attacks the football. Look at him right here, just stripping it away from James. Eason out of the shotgun, and here they come. Oh, my. The Pulse has given us that kind of yardage. Negative 25 for the Patriots. Here they come. And intercepted for a touchdown, the rookie Reggie Phillips. McMahon with good play action going for the bomb from his own end zone to Colts. They won't catch him except by the shirt tail. Could be the biggest route in history. Has all the earmarks, doesn't it? Complete, and then a fumble, and the Bears have it again. Wilbur Marshall. Derek Ramsey, another fumble, and the Bears have it at the 43-yard line. Tight end was injured on the first uh, scrimmage play. Another intercept on his way. Tim Morrissey to the five-yard line. The Bears knew basically if they put their defense on the field, New England was never going to score. This defense has been incredible. 
total decimation of the AFC champion New England Patriots. Well, I've always said that was the greatest group of characters that had character. It was just enjoyable to, to do those things that we did with those guys that we have. It was coming together with a group of men, and we did it. The Chicago Bears are world champions of football.